50,000 subscribers. Can you believe it? So I want to say thank you to everyone who's been here for a long time. Thank you for sticking around. And for all of the new people coming to the channel, thank you very much for subscribing. Please do stick around. Now, let's enjoy a few clips from over the years, including this one. This is a 2008 Ferrari F430 Scuderia. This is the Infiniti Q60 Red Sport 400. This is a 2000 Honda Civic Si. This is the 2020 Lotus Evora GT. And we are here to try out the new Dodge Challenger RT Scat Pack 1320. Does it get any more iconic than this? Camaro SS versus Mustang GT. Finally, after more than two decades, the Supra is back. And boy, does the internet have a lot of opinions about this car. This is the 2019 Mazda MX-5 Miata, and it's the best sports car money can buy. Let me show you why. Hey, do you know it's red, white, and blue all over? America! You know what else is red, white, and blue all over? The Challenger SRT Hellcat Red Eye Wide Body. Blue paint, red brake calipers. Where's the white, you may be wondering? Well, it's about to come from those rear tires. Let's go do some burnouts. Hello everyone. You join me inside a very pleasant surprise. I'm driving a 2017 Jaguar F-Type R, the all-wheel drive V8 convertible. This is a fantastic, fantastic car. Let's take it for a drive so I can explain why. Chevrolet Corvette ZR1. And today I'm going to show you all the quirks and features that. Wait, wrong YouTube channel. Holy shit, Chevrolet gave me the keys to a ZR1. Oh man. For the uninitiated, the ZR1 is the top. 
top of the line Corvette model. It represents the pinnacle of what General Motors can do with a giving Corvette model. But again, $140,000, 755 horsepower Corvette sports car. We don't care about the practical, pragmatic things. You're not buying this for the fuel economy. You're not buying this for the interior volume. You're buying it because it sounds fucking awesome! Are you kidding me? Oh. oh my god! Oh, that's right, I just remembered. This is no ordinary F-Pace. This is the F-Pace SVR. And if the name SVR sounds familiar, it damn well should because there's only one other Jag on the planet to wear the SVR badge, and that is the absolutely insane F-Type SVR with its big five liter supercharged V8 engine. But it's the engine, the engine just dominates the experience. I mean, just listen to it. is the naturally aspirated B16A engine. 1.6 liters, naturally aspirated, 8,000 plus RPM in stock form, and capable over 10,000 RPM when tuners like Spoon got their hands on these things. There it goes, there it goes, we're in VTAC. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Straight six, all right. So hopefully that was a pretty good compilation of a few of the cars I've been able to drive recently. And as I'm driving through the canyon roads, my ratty old drift car, I want to take a look back and really kind of see 
where this channel has come from and where it's going. Now, I really started playing around with YouTube, I believe it was in late 2016, early 2017, so definitely a bit of a slow burn for me. Um, there have been a few really strong videos along the way. Um, buying this car has done well over 100,000 views, which is awesome. Uh, going to events like the Lexus RX SUV unveiling event, that did really good for me. And a number of press cars along the way I've been fortunate enough to get into uh, through years of riding and making videos in the automotive arena. Um, those have also trafficked really well. So I'm definitely very thankful for that. Uh, obviously, uh, things like project cars, like uh, my Civic Si track car and my E46, which I love. Uh, they're really the passion projects of this channel. They don't bring in nearly the sort of revenue or views that the um, vehicle reviews do, but they're just so fun. Uh, and it's, it's fun to own cars. It's fun to buy cheap cars and try and turn them into something. <laughs> so I suppose that's a pretty happy segue into what you can expect from this channel going forward. And, um, say it's a fair bit of what you come to expect though with a few new twists and tricks first things first I'm looking to pick up a different or new project car uh, it could be for anything it could be a track day car a drift car a fun street car whatever it could even be a drag racing car if you guys have any suggestions or opinions or any vehicles you'd like to see in that regard please do let me know because that will definitely influence my opinion. Now, considering this is my 5,000 subscriber special, I figure I'll put a $5,000 price cap on that project car. So put your thinking caps on and get to thinking about that. In the interim, I filmed a couple updates with this car, which hopefully you guys will enjoy. Uh, this build's coming along really nicely. And Project Civic Assign has a couple big updates coming too. Uh, also, suspension upgrades, gonna try and fit more wheel and tire under the car. I really wanna try and push that car as far as they stock power so because I will and can go. As far as vehicle reviews and things like that, I have a few cars in the pipeline. I've just filmed, I believe, three new cars at the, at the time of this filming, and I have four, four more on the way in the next few weeks. So the channel is gonna be really busy, which is a good thing. So. Hopefully soon I'll have a nice string of content laid out that you guys can just jump right into and check out. Uh, hopefully, as I continue to improve my video process, my editing process, and the general production of these videos, the quality gets higher and higher and you find them more and more enjoyable. I know I certainly enjoy making them. And I think it's a nice place to wrap things up with this video. Again, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching all the videos. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, if you come across the video, it's my first video you've seen, please do subscribe. It absolutely helps me out in doing more fun things in the future. Uh, whether it is getting into, you know, manufacturer press cars or going to events or, you know, having the ability to make these project cars. It is all very much appreciated. So, I think that's all I got. Hopefully I can include one last burnout clip in here just because they're so much fun. And I will see you guys on the next video where I go do more fun things.